Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I'm here to do the NaNoWriMo tag. So NaNoWriMo stands for National Novel Writing Month. It is a yearly, I call it a write-along kind of thing, where you try to write a 50,000 word novel in one month. And this is something that I have looked forward to every single year since I first started doing it. I've had a blast the past few years when I have done it and I am excited to be doing it again. When I am filming this video is about a week into NaNoWriMo and I saw my friend Maddie or Miss Maddie Reads do this a couple of days prior to this so I will link her video down below but without further ado I'm just going to jump right in and get started. So question number one is how many times have you participated in NaNoWriMo and out of those times how many times have you won? So for me this is my third year participating in NaNoWriMo and I have won once out of those three times. Hopefully this year will be a second victory for me. And like I said previously, I have a blast doing it and I'm definitely going to continue doing it in the future. Question number two is, are you a pantser or a plotter? So for me, I'm a little bit of both. The past couple of years, I have just pants my projects. I really didn't have a story structure to them going into, you know, NaNoWriMo. But this year, I kind of took it in a different direction and I did start outlining a novel that is my project for this year. And I got six chapters into it, and unfortunately, I spilled soda all over it at class a couple of days ago, and it kind of ruined it. And I just didn't have the time to go back and re-outline the entire thing. So at this point, I am just pantsing it, and it is still working out for the most part. And I think I, even though I really do not mind pantsing my novels, I am going to start outlining them going forward in my writing career. Question number three is what are the titles of the projects that you have attempted slash completed for past NaNoWriMo's? So the first year I did NaNoWriMo I was writing a YA contemporary book called One Moment at a Time and last year's title was called Heart of Poison. So that is the titles of my past two projects I've worked on. Question number four is what are you working on for NaNoWriMo this year? So for this year I'm actually doing a complete rewrite of my novel from last year. It is new adult fantasy and it is an evil queen retelling and again and I explained this in the video I did about my plans for NaNoWriMo this year which I'll link in the cards but my novel from last year was just kind of a mess and I wasn't really happy with the way it was coming out. So I decided this year I'll just rewrite the entire thing and that was what I'm doing. Number five is what is one tip that you would give to someone who is participating in NaNoWriMo? And for me, the biggest thing that I can tell anybody who maybe is participating in it for the first time is just to take your time. Do not rush it. You guys can take your time and as much time as you need throughout the month to work on your novel. I learned that more this year, but especially last year as well, because last year, November, was always a busy month. I ended up going to New York after Thanksgiving last year, and that's kind of my yearly tradition with my family as we go to New York at the end of November, right after Thanksgiving, and I did not write that entire weekend. And this year, I am definitely in a writing slump, as I call it, for the past about four or five days. I haven't been really hitting my word count as much as I would like to, and it's mostly because of work and school. It's combined with a couple of other things but my biggest thing is don't rush it you can take your time if you if you have to rush it at the end of the month if you really are trying to hit that 50 word count do that but take your time throughout the month and worry about it more towards the end of the month that is the biggest thing I can tell anybody Six. what is the inspiration behind this novel do you remember when the hit inspiration hit you so the inspiration for my novel this year is again a rewrite of the book last year but my original idea from this is coming from where I'm just obsessed with the Evil Queen storyline from Snow White. It's the inspiration behind my channel name and my blog name and I always wanted to write some sort of retelling of it so when I got the idea last year I'm like this is what I'm doing for NaNoWriMo this year. I know it. So the inspiration came to me while I was watching Once Upon a Time which is a TV show that I love and I mentioned in videos before and my favorite character in that is the evil queen from Snow White. So I'm like, okay, I'll take not a whole ton of elements, but some elements from Once Upon a Time and put my own spin on them and, and add stuff to that as the story goes along. And that's really where the inspiration came from. Question number seven is to read the first line of your book from last year. And I actually really like how this first line came out. I didn't really realize it until now that I really like it. And I kind of wish I had taken it. It put it into the rewrite of the book that I did last year into this year's project 
But it says, my mother had once told me long ago that everything happens for a reason. I never truly understood what that meant until now. Like I said, really like that opening line. The opening lines for me of either the book or any chapter in the book seem to be the hardest thing for me to come up with. But I think that, in my opinion, was a strong opening line. Is it the best? Probably not. But I'm happy with it. Question number eight is, what do you plan to do with your manuscript after NaNoWriMo? So... It really depends on how far into the book I actually am. Last year when NaNoWriMo ended, I was only about halfway, maybe not even halfway into the story itself. And if I can get my word count done early in the month and, you know, surpass the 50,000 word month and finish the book up, I will probably print it off of my computer and then look over it and do a second draft of it. And that's my plan for right now. I know some people do the publishing route right away. I just don't think that's the route for me. I do want to traditionally publish my novel, so I think I will have to do a second draft before I end up querying agents and then sending it off to publishers to look at. Number nine, the last question of this tag is, are you prepared for NaNoWriMo? Are you nervous? Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's already a week into NaNoWriMo, but at the beginning, I was honestly petrified of doing it this year because I knew how busy I am with school. I work I work, have school Mondays and Wednesdays, and I work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The only day I don't work is Wednesdays because I have class all day that day. So I was just trying to look at my schedule and try to figure out what times can I, you know, have time for reading and writing and school and work, yada, yada, yada. I'm somehow making it work. You guys will see in my weekly vlogs that it's not going the best, but it is what it is. So... I'm still nervous to this day, even a week in, but hopefully it all works out in the end. And that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you guys are writing for Nana Ryan this year and how you're doing, as I would love to know. And I will link Maddie's video along with all my social media links down below for you guys to go check out. And all being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!